Hello everyone and welcome to MWKL Online Dynasty for NCAA 13. I am DJ DJ 23. We're going to jump right into it here in the first quarter. Craig Otto McIntosh from 43 yards. It's going to give Kentucky the lead here about halfway through the first quarter, making it three to nothing. Um, it was a interesting day for the Wildcats who started out really, really strong. Um, the defense looked really good and really solid, forcing a lot of turnovers. Uh, Mr. Cobble here on this play after uh, Jacoby Brissett audibles. It's going to break through the offensive line, grab him, throw him to the ground to uh, force a fourth and five on a third and inches play. So big play there to force a punt. Um, on the ensuing drive, uh, story of the day had to have been third down drops by the Wildcats. You'll see, oh, Gene McCaskill wide open, can't hang on. Um, Wildcats had a couple of third down big drops that, that really cost them. Taylor Wyndham falling back into coverage off the defensive line about six minutes to go in the second quarter. Sets up this third and goal for Kentucky um, after a little drive there, and Florida would have none of it stopping. Koshik Williams there uh, for about a four or five yard loss, setting up Craig Otto McIntosh yet again uh, for about a 24 yarder. Uh, this would give Kentucky a 6 nothing lead. Um, again, the, the Kentucky secondary had a great day, as you'll see. Uh, uh, Martavius Nellums picks off Jacoby Brissett uh, for the third interception of the game for the Kentucky defense. Um, Nellums had, had one on the day, but the Florida defense just ate up Max Smith all day long. Mikey Benton getting in on the uh, action here as he picks off Brissett. Um, that is his first interception of the game. He would end with two. And uh, but then again, it didn't really matter. Their uh, first play of the second half from scrimmage, and Max Smith goes down yet again. Um, just wasn't able to get any time to throw during most of the second half. But there's Benton picking it off again, giving Kentucky some good field goal, uh, good field position there. Um, to set a first and goal on the Florida side of the field. On the ensuing play after the pick, Gene McCaskill, 41 yards to the one-yard line of Florida, setting up first and goal from the one to set up Raymond Sanders, who's just going to take it in from a yard out there, giving Kentucky the 13 to nothing lead. But after that, it was pretty much all Florida. Brissett over the deep uh, post route in between the cover two. It's going to take it to the house. Uh, making it a 13-7 game, and again, the third down drops will continue to kill Kentucky. Taylor Robinson wide open. Sorry, Tyler Robinson, excuse me. Um, another third down drop, forcing another punt. And that would lead to Brissett again going deep and just the Florida offense just torched the Kentucky secondary uh, in, the, in about halfway through the third quarter to the end of the game. Uh, just uh, unbelievable. Gillisley's going to take it from 15 yards out here. Um, just weaving in and out of Kentucky defenders. That gives him a 21 to 13 lead. Um, once again, another quick pass on a slant in between covers and off to the races go the Gators. 28 13. And it was just one of those days. Max Smith, uh, with about two minutes left, trying to make the game respectable. And uh, no, not going to happen. Uh, Watkins on the, on the Florida defense is going to take it to the house for the pick six. There's your final score, 35-13. Max Smith, two interceptions. Um, running game could never really get going. Uh, I believe we had negative 29 yards for the game, as you'll see here in a second. Just, uh, just a horrible, horrible game for the Kentucky offense. Um, but thanks for watching. As always, next week we're three and one, uh, and still got a chance to compete for the SEC. Thanks for watching again. I'm DJ DJ 23.